Welcome to the PLC Fundamentals course. In this video, we will discuss how to wire analog signals to the analog input channels of PLC. I have drawn an analog input module of PLC that has three analog input channels. It means we can connect three analog sensors, loop powered analog sensor to this analog input module. Suppose I have a pressure sensor a loop powered pressure sensor. It has a plus and minus terminal. This is the DC power supply. Well, the analog input module of the PLC also require plus 24 volt power. The same L plus of the power supply has to go all the way to the field to the positive terminal of the sensor and the return that is the negative terminal of the sensor will be connected to the first terminal of the analog input channel. The second terminal of the analog input channel will be connected to the ground or M or zero volt of the power supply. Remember L plus and M of analog input module and the L plus that goes all the way to the field to loop the sensor to this analog input channel these signals must be from the same power supply so now we have looped or we have wired this pressure sensor the analog value of the pressure sensor can now be received at the first analog input channel and we can process it into the PLC program. So this is why we call it as loop powered sensor or loop powered wiring. This sensor does not require additional power supply. On other hand, we have system powered sensor. In system powered sensors, the analog in system powered sensor an additional power supply is required for example this is an analog sensor it has a plus and minus terminal and also it requires additional power supply to power up which we call system powered sensors while this sensor is loop power sensor we power up it through the same wire through which it is sending the value, the analog value, the 4 to 20 milliampere DC value to the PLC analog input channel. Similarly, if we have additional sensors like temperature sensor, the positive and the negative terminals, well, we will connect the L plus of the power supply to the temperature sensor and the return value of the sensor will be looped up with the second analog input channel first terminal while the second terminal will be looped with the M the zero volt or the ground as we have done in the first analog input channel. So this is the simple way of looping or wiring analog sensors, loop powered analog sensors to the PLC analog input module or analog input channel. Well, once we have looped this temperature sensor to the second channel, well, depending upon the value of the temperature, 4 to 20 milliampere DC will be sent to the second channel 
of analog input module. I suppose that we are using 4 to 20 milliampere DC for analog signals. Well, depending upon the scenario, it can be 0 to 10 volt signal. It can be minus 10 volt to positive 10 volt or it can be 0 to 20 milliampere DC. In this case, I assume that we are using this setting. So this is how we loop analog sensor to the analog input channels of PLC. If you have any question regarding it, you can ask me in the comment section. In the coming videos, I will show you how to loop digital signals and how to loop analog output signals to the PLC modules. Thank you for watching the video and see you next time.